Welcome back, Kiari Warriors, to Over 50. This is my Kiari Malformation Story channel or story playlist. I'm making this recording at the about seven and two thirds months post op. That might seem like kind of a weird, you know, why didn't you wait till eight months? But um, I, one thing occurred physically that I wanted to just mention because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to lay out things that happened to me. So I'm trying to record videos. So that other people that come along that are considering decompression surgery or whatever can look at this and have an idea of what to expect. So I guess the first thing I'll start off with is when I was at the gym, I was trying to incorporate the shoulder press into my routine. And I've been adding a machine, you know, every other time. After I had surgery, they told me and told me I could get on the treadmill for 15, 20 minutes walking only. So I did that, then worked up to you know 30 minutes, 40 minutes, so on. Got up to where I'm on it for about an hour now. I run for a little bit, primarily I walk. And then I'd you know just add different machines in, but I had never added anything regarding putting my arms up over my head. And since I added that one, I'm noticing it's painful, and it, that was pain, it's painful just to try to. I don't know if you saw me grimace just now, but right around in this area here, and of course, you know, C1 is was removed, but around here, it's it's not it's not painful to where it, I'm uncomfortable and I can't like I can sit here and talk and record this video and it's not hurting, but if I move my neck just the right way, you know, it feels like I tweak something there. Maybe it's the best way to put it. And the only thing I can think of is that motion with weight going up and down. I mean, I can put my arms up and down like this. This doesn't really hurt. But like if I lean my head back too much, that hurts. You know, if I try to look over my shoulder, I can do that, but it's really tight. So that's just something to watch for um, when you get to the seven, eighth month, um, you know, after, you know, having decompression surgery. So when you're seven, eight months post-op, um, that's when this started happening to me, so I thought I'd mention it in case it happens to you. The other thing I saw was on the message board, somebody was asking about wearing a mask and does that make you dizzy? So, let's see, let me try to play by the YouTube rules here. Um, I'm not a doctor, um, so I'm not giving medical advice. However, I can, I get dizzy spells when I wear a mask. So... You know, the school that I, you know, the school district that I teach in, I don't know what state you guys live in. I live down here in Florida, so our governor said no, no mask mandates. I hope that doesn't get this video, you know, taken down, but, you know, I'm just explaining, you know, the situation. So the governor said we didn't have to wear a mask. The school board said we had to, and I knew that wearing masks over the summer was causing me dizzy spells, like if I would go to the doctor's office or something like that. You know, I start giving dizzy spells and I have to hold on to the walls. So I went, you know, to my doctor at the Mayo Clinic and I said, can you give me something? Because the, the, they're trying to require me to wear a mask all day at school. And I know that's not going to work because I can't wear a mask for more than 20 minutes tops, you know, without the room starting to spin. So he wrote me a, you know, a note, you know, not a problem. It was, you know, well written except for one problem. The note says that please allow a patient to wear a face shield instead of a mask at work. That was the problem with the note. Every doctor office I goes to requires me to wear a mask because that's their procedure. And because the note does not say, the note specifies wearing a mask, don't, not wearing a mask at work because it specifies work, then they are in their right to forced me to wear a mask or or you know I didn't have a face shield at the time you know so you know I, I don't know I guess I sh should have had a face shield but I swapped cars with my wife took her car my truck was in the shop and of course you know this happens but anywhere I go because that note is worded at work they don't they won't accept it or they won't adhere to it or whatever so I'm putting this out there to let you guys know that if you get a note from your doctor, um, make sure that it specifies that you, um, you know, if you're not, if you get dizzy from wearing a mask, then you shouldn't be putting a mask on 
period. So I'm not a doctor here. I'm just saying that's, that's what I'm asking for mine. Because when I'm flying here in, over Christmas to go see my father, and I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, it'll be the first time flying since I've been decompressed. Um, you know, I just, I, I, you know, I need to have this straightened out. So I have to get the note redone. So that was basically the two reasons why I was recording this video. So I will go ahead and close it off here. If you're new here, if you would, please hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to reach as many Kiari Warriors as I can. But YouTube will not start putting my video in the next up column or will not, you know, promote my video with other like videos that people watch until I hit a thousand subscriptions. So, you know, I'm trying to self-promote to try to reach people. So please subscribe, like the video. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments down below and share this video with other people out there. That would help me a lot too, because you might know some other people that, you know, are going through the same thing. And, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to help people here. Um, you know, so that's why I started putting this together because when I was considering surgery, I was looking for something like this online and couldn't find it. Um, you know, I didn't think about, I didn't have Facebook or, you know, any of that stuff, you know, until, you know, after I decided to start making this channel and then someone suggested, you know, you ought to try, you know, if you're trying to reach people, you ought to try to see if you can do that through Facebook. So I didn't know about the, you know, the groups and stuff that would have been helpful when I was Oh, going through this process. I just swallowed and that kind of hurt a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so anyhow, uh, if you would, please go ahead and uh, do all those things. Uh, please take care of yourself. I hope you had a uh, happy Thanksgiving and I hope you're um, enjoying the rest of the weekend. And um, until next time, uh, stay strong, everyone. Peace.